I wanted to sit down and do a quick video, I think it'll be quick, on this topic because it has been on my heart. It's so interesting, since starting this vlog, a handful of people have said to me, I love that people are getting to see a different side of you, not just Bible teacher Kim. And I said that myself when I started this vlog. People who know me only on YouTube know Bible teacher Kim. And I think my personality comes through as I teach, but my focus is on the Word of God. And that's not just normal conversation. I'm operating within a spiritual gift. It's so real, even in the way I talk. I have always been one who talks fast. I remember growing up, I would tell a story, something that happened that day, and my dad would say, okay, now, repeat the whole thing, but this time, slow down. And I'd be like, oh. <laughs> But on YouTube, I've seen comments like, I appreciate the way you are so measured and deliberate in the way you speak. And I'm like, Lord, you know that is not me and all you. So Bible teacher Kim is one side of me, but because that's the side that people see on here, I was like, what will people say if it's just me being myself with the vlogs? Still led by the spirit, prayerfully, y'all know what I mean. I had the same thought with the web series. Some people ain't gonna be ready to see me acting. I wasn't ready. And it's not that I'm doing anything crazy. All God glorifying content, I assure you. But it's not Bible teacher Kim. So I thought, what if people are like, she knows she need to stick to Bible teaching. All the time she took to film this, she could have done three books of the Bible. But bottom line, I have to be led by the spirit and what he moves me to do not by people's perceptions of me or what they think I should be doing. That may mean that some people unsubscribe. I did not sign up for this. But if y'all saw my last vlog, y'all know I will survive. In this social media world in particular, it can be risky to just be yourself. It's tempting to pattern yourself after certain people or take the familiar path in how you do things. I could use this voice always when I speak the voice I used in the workplace when I needed to be professional with proper diction and proper word choice always. But I don't talk like that when I'm home or when I'm with my girls. So on YouTube, when I'm not teaching and I'm just hanging with Kling fam, I'm gonna be myself. Now some of you speak with proper word choice and diction all the time, no matter who you're with. Be yourself. Don't try to use slang in certain situations. It ain't gonna sound right. Some of you, God has given a vision to do something and you're like, yeah, but I've never seen that. Or I've never seen it done that way. I don't know how it'll be received. Some people might be like, you haven't seen it because God gave it to you. God actually designed you with your own personality and his gifts flow differently with different personalities and talents. So nobody could do this particular gift with your particular personality and all the things that make you you, but you. But you have to step out and take the risk. And you'll be surprised because when you walk by faith, God shows you things you didn't know about yourself. There are things I didn't know about myself and the gifts God had given, and even my voice, until I stepped out and started a YouTube channel. We can be highly critical of ourselves. We know each and everything about ourselves that we don't like. We know each and everything that doesn't measure up to someone else. The comparison game, always on point. God put every good and perfect gift in someone else. But then there's Ephesians 3, 7. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Each one of us gifted in Christ, not carbon copies, all of us unique. Be yourself, be the you that shines for the glory of God. No matter how different or quiet or quirky and let people see you when you're not all together. I spent all day yesterday washing and conditioning and twisting my hair. I said, I don't feel like taking my hair down for this video. If I was hanging out today with my girls, my hair would look just like this. So my hair is looking just like this with the cling fam. Now what I won't do is come on here with no makeup. I am no longer young and fresh faced. 
I ain't trying to scare nobody. But if y'all want to pray for me on that, I got no problem. <laughs> let me know in the comments, are you comfortable being yourself? Do you let God use you in your uniqueness, in the gifting that doesn't look like everybody else? Are you planning to unsubscribe because you only want to see Bible teacher Kim? Okay, just kidding, don't answer that. Just quietly unsubscribe. Can I just say I'm having too much fun vlogging? I got all kinds of stuff I'm gonna be talking about. Subscribe if you have not already, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Keep clean.